Welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you for stopping in. Today we are having a little knife sale. Before we get started with everything, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I release daily knife and EDC content. Hit that thumbs up button. That helps push this video out there to more people. Let us know what you're carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. So we're going to have a normal knife sale <clears throat> just like we've done the last five or six times. It's been very successful on both sides. Uh, so we'll keep it that way. I use USPS ground uh, and it has worked out very well. Also, all the information will be linked down in the description. The name of the knife, the sale price, all that sort of thing. We're not going to cover that in the video to keep it short and sweet. I'll go over the knives and materials and so on, and then we'll move on to keep everything moving quickly. If you see something that looks interesting, you can check it out down in the description. All major forms of payment, all the major apps and whatnot, we can discuss that through email, which is how I want you to contact me if you see something you are interested in. Don't leave a comment and let me know. I mean, you can do that. You can leave a comment, but I need the email as well. Uh, that way I can keep track of everything and keep track of who, shipping addresses and all that sort of thing. It just makes it a lot easier to deal with. So we'll use email. I'll have that link down below as well. And with that being said, that should be everything. Email me any form of payment and first come first serve usps ground is how we'll run it and that should be pretty pretty self-explanatory we've got a couple of knives that are no longer being made i believe and the first one up is the civivi pintail s35 vn steel nice drop point blade we have dull thumb studs and a rear flipper for deployment a nice snappy detent uh, fell in love with this knife a couple years back. Micarta here, deep carry clip, reversible, lanyard hole, good access to the liner. Fantastic, fantastic knife. Detent is tuned perfectly on this knife. Ah, it's a good one. It's a good, it's a great mid-sized knife, I would say. The next one we have is the Civivi Imperium. This has a beautiful drop point blade in there. I think it's 9CR Damascus or 10CR Damascus. We have a front flipper and dull thumb studs. The detent is also tuned beautifully on this knife here. The front flipper works very well. We have natural micarta here for our handle material and backspacer integrated lanyard post. We have steel liners with a ton of milling, deep carry clip, going to be reversible as well. And we have great access to that liner lock. This was, this was one of the first knives I ever bought to start my collection. Uh, this was probably one of the first 10 knives, I bet, uh, that I bought when I started my collection. Looks like it needs tightened up there a little bit. But, uh, yeah, this is a really solid knife love the imperium it's centered right back up it was a little loose but centered right back up made it even better as far as the deployment very good love this knife nice little gentleman's carry kind of crossover edc knife love the imperium i don't know why they quit making some of these knives they are fantastic and we have a, another Civivi here, the Civivi Riffle. Now's your chance. Some of the people who are just coming into the community or maybe you're just new to YouTube, you know, and knives. Uh, a couple of these knives are what really, you know, showed me the way with an affordable budget knife and kind of how they should be. This is old school Civivi right here with these last couple I've showed you. And we're talking some serious, serious value for the money. Uh, they provide a tremendous value for what you're getting. Uh, 14C 28N steel, nice drop point blade. It's got this blasted finish to it. Large cutout and a rear flipper tab for deployment. Nice snappy detent. Love this knife. Micarta 
for the handle material, my Carta backspacer, deep carry clip, that'll be reversible. The access is not like anything to write home about, okay? But I have never had trouble getting in there to disengage it. They have it chamfered and jimped, and there's plenty of room in there. That's probably the only knock on this knife. And it's not even, it's not like horrible, it's just not great. But uh, still very easy to get in there and disengage this knife. Never, uh, never had a single thought that, you know, it, it, it's bad. Could be a little better, but uh, by any means, not by any means, is it bad. And it is a large folder, very, very comfortable. The Civivi Riffle has been a long-standing fan favorite. Next up, we have the Real Steel Knives Megalodon. This is going to be coming in N690 with a stonewashed blade. Nice long drop point. This is going to be a flipper deployment. Nice jimping there on that flipper. Nice snappy action. We have a G10 carbon fiber, kind of a cross-cut carbon fiber uh, topper there. And then this is going to be a steel frame lock on the clip side. We have a lower mounted pocket clip here. And this thing is a full size knife right here. The Megalodon Revival is what it's called. And that is a large bugger right there. Great build quality from Real Steel. This one hurts my soul a little bit, but sometimes things just have to go, right? This is the premium Kubi Ruckus. Love this knife to death. 20 CV steel. Drop point blade is beautiful. We have dull thumb studs for the deployment. The This area here is actually not a front flipper, and I learned that long after. Uh, this is probably the third Ruckus I've had. And I always thought that was a front flipper. It's actually not. It's part of the design. Now, you can you can use it, if you know what you're doing, unlike me, to, to front flip it out. It's just, it's not what it's for. It's just part of the design. Uh, so that way it can, I believe, isn't it so it can wrap around... I forget what Sharif told me, but that is for something, and I can't remember what it is. Either which way, it's got flame titanium handles, beautiful backspacer, a nice deep carry titanium pocket clip, and this is a liner lock, so you don't have to worry about that exposed frame lock. The pocket clip is going to be reversible on this knife. Absolutely love this thing. The Kubi Ruckus is a great design and very comfortable. This one hurts my soul as well. Kunwu, S-Tau, Vanek, Sheep's Foot, Satin, Superman Hole, Front Flipper, Damascus Pivot Collar, Orange Peel Titanium Handle, Reversible, Deep Carry Wire Pocket Clip, Amazing Detent and Action, one of the best folding knife steels in the industry. Uh, beautiful knife. And a full-size knife. Very comfortable. Just an elegant, beautiful design. Next up, we have the Concept REI. And this is a, a really cool knife right here. We have 20 CV for the steel. I'm going to tell you, there, you're not going to catch knives some of these knives s35 vn 20 cv you know knives like that for this price in this type of shape i don't think anywhere else that's why these knives go very quickly i think i have this one at like 120 or something and that's for 20 cv and a full titanium handle titanium hardware uh and a really well done design from concept this is something that'll go pretty quickly i believe Beautiful detent and action on this knife. Nice milled titanium clip. It's got this cross-cut pattern. Really, really well done. Love the REI. It's got that pokey tip for pinpoint precision. And then you got the, the multiple deployments with the studs and rear flipper. Works very well for all of them.
Next up, we have a Jared Price design. This is with Concept as well. Uh, S35VN for the steel. It's called the Concept Taraco. Nice stonewashed drop point blade. Front flipper is done extremely well. Uh, if you like front flippers or you're trying to learn, this is a fantastic front flipper design. And the detent is perfect for the model. We have that flamed titanium handle here yet again. Beautiful lower mounted kind of milled clip there. Same design. Titanium. Titanium backspacer. Fantastic mid-sized knife right here. The Taraco. And Concept does a great job with their S35. They do a great job across the board. This one, this is a knife that I've been like trying to get myself to sell. I, I know I've put it out there and I, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't real interested in getting rid of it. But, uh, you know, I, I'm going to put it, put it on the sale. The Vero Axon Liner Lock Stonewash Sheep's Foot Blade. You have the cutout on both sides. Front flipper as well. Beautiful detent. Best Tech OEM. We have the Red G10. Full length tie backspacer and a titanium pocket clip. Incredibly good action. Full size knife. Very, very comfortable. Uh, 20 CV or M390 on the steel. Not that it matters. One of those two. I think it's M390 uh, on the steel for these. And uh, yeah, the Vero Axon speaks for itself. The only reason I I'm getting rid of this is because I have the frame lock version. And, you know, I, I want to keep one and sell one. Uh, and ultimately, I, I don't even know if I'm making the right choice. But I like them both. So... We'll see what happens. Vero Axon Liner Lock. Next up, we have the Kubi Barracuda. And this is a, a nasty little front flipper here. But you can also, this is an S30V. It's kind of got a blasted finish to it. But there's enough blade poking out there that you can reverse flick this thing all day long. Good, good size, comfortable. Definitely more of a utility style blade with that Warren, Clay, Warren Cliff shape. Detent is very, very snappy, especially for that front flipper. We have a full titanium handle, hardware. We have a nice milled pocket clip here. Titanium backspacer with an integrated lanyard loop there. This is going to be right hand carry only on this one. Good access with a chamfer and some very fine jimping there on that liner. Great knife right here and deserves to be in a good home. But love this knife. Uh, very cool looking. Can I thumb flick this? Yeah. If you if in the right situation, you can thumb flick it out as well. But yeah, the boot Barracuda. Great little knife right there. Kind of a futuristic gentleman type looking knife utility utility next up we got the fair monster urban grip we're going to have m390 on the steel we have a coated drop point blade here front flipper now this one being coated you can actually thumb flick this out reverse flick this out on the satin version you cannot do that uh, this one, this knife is fantastic from Fair Monster, company that needs a, a lot more attention. Full titanium handle with some very nice marbled carbon fiber as an inlay, titanium backspacer, and a milled tie clip. We have great access to that lock bar with a nice big chamfer. The detent is tuned perfectly. And this is a great size knife as well. This is my favorite, I think, from Fera Monster. Uh, I, I love this knife right here. Huge sleeper, in my opinion. It's got a, it's got a nice design to it. I like the lines. I like the chamfering that's been done on the handle. It's just a, a great looking piece. You could use this as a crossover knife all day. 
kind of a gentleman's EDC. Very, very cool from Ferra Monster. I have a Sacra here that I'm going to be selling as well. We have the All Murdered Out with the Touch of Gold accents here. Black Blade, Black G10. This is an Integral Steel Liner. So you get a very rigid frame and you get the comfort of a acting backspacer there. Full length, nice minimal deep carry clip there. Going to be reversible. Real Steel's crossbar locks are phenomenal. Not only do they give a very satisfying deployment off them studs, reverse flick, thumb flick, uh, the lockup is fantastic on these knives. Very, very solid and great access to that crossbar there. Very good design from Real Steel. K110 is going to be the steel, if I didn't mention that. And you can see the action is out of this world good for that crossbar lock. Great sharpening choil, fully ambidextrous knife coming from Real Steel. Next up, we have the Tenable Knives, which is Concept's sister company. Tenable Knives, and this is the, what is this? The Prometheus. Yes. We're looking at... 14C 28N steel, a beautiful modified sheep's foot blade with a black wash coating. Going to be a rear flipper and a very well done rear flipper. We have G10 on G10. I believe this was a special edition of this knife as well. I think. I could be wrong. But uh, I think they put it out for a specific reason at least. And then we have a milled titanium clip there to top everything off. This is a Doc Ock design. Uh, the Doctober is one of his famous designs. Nice sharpening choil there. Great access to the liner. Great drop shot action as well. Just a kind of do-it-all EDC knife right here. Going to have that nice pinpoint precision with that tip. Great long straight edge there. Very comfortable, good size, great knife. And then we have the Real Steel Bullet here. This is going to be a minimalist front flipper. It's got a nice low tip tanto blade. Very futuristic looking. Got this fuller for aesthetics along with that cutout. A nice generous choil here for a good choke up. This is going to be a Torb Knives design. We have a titanium frame lock here with these really cool G10 inserts here, textured G10, very clean design, backspacer with integrated lanyard hole here, titanium pocket clip, and I believe the steel on these is S35VN, which we can see right there. Very, very nice from Real Steel, and something a little bit different. I like this thing. You look at it and you wonder how to open it but that front flipper actually works very very well especially if you like front flippers this knife is really good good mid-sized knife very open on the ergonomics for it actually for a mid-sized knife can give you quite a bit of reach as well but that choke up is absolutely money even if you have large large hands You'll be able to fit on this very, very comfortably. And that S35VN is going to be a workhorse. And you can do the index perfectly off that front flipper. Uh, almost like that's what it was designed for. But your pointer finger lays in there perfectly for that index rollover. And it's got a nice snappy detent. Closing action is just buttery, buttery smooth. That is the real steel bullet. If you want to get your hands on some 14C 28N very inexpensively, got a brand new Kubi Monster Dog here. This is another Doc Ock design. And this thing is, it's a unique beastly little utility folder here. I'd say it's a mid-sized knife. And I can get a full purchase on that very comfortably. This is going to be a great utility style knife. 
textured blue G10 with the all black hardware to match the blade. You have the oversized thumb studs there for deployment and the detent is really good on this knife. Nice and snappy. And then we have a deep carry steel rollover clip there. That'll be reversible. Good access to that liner with some jimping on it there. Nice clean closing action. The Monster Dog, great knife, 14C and G10. That is a fantastic combo for an EDC knife. So I think I will call it there and call that good. Uh, but keep an eye out in the description. I might have a few other knives linked down below there if I can get it done before this gets uploaded. There might be a couple other knives that might not be pictured here uh, that might be down in the description. So just keep an eye on that. But like I said, first come, first serve through email, gballvision at outlook.com. All that information will be linked down below. I will try to keep the list updated uh, as quickly as I can. If it takes me a few minutes to get to your email or anything like that or to respond back, don't worry, I will get back to you. Uh, as far as first come, first serve, that's how I'll run it. If somebody tells me they want something and then I they lose contact with me or I lose contact with them and there's other people interested in that knife, unless we have discussed otherwise, I'm going to move on to the second person. Uh, you know, I want to get these gone and get stuff flowing back in. That's basically what this is for, just to uh, replace knives to put back onto the channel. Uh, so that is how everything will run. That'll be everything pictured is available right now. There are four or five knives that were in this sale that are gone now, but I might be adding four or five to the list. So keep an eye on on that and if you want something out of the couple that aren't pictured they are going to basically be brand spanking new so uh just keep that in mind and keep an eye out down in the description that will wrap this one up don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below that way it'll push this video out there to more people and we can get these knives some very good homes thank you all for your support it means a ton i uh, can't thank you guys enough if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe i release daily knife and edc content i also hold knife sales uh once a month or so or at least every other month at this point so keep your eyes peeled hit that subscribe button ring the bell that'll notify you anytime i release any content whatsoever and when we go live, which is Saturday and Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time, anyone who doesn't know, I do live streams every Saturday, every Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern. I would love to have you there. So stop by and say hello. Even if it's your first time, let us know and we can welcome you properly to the channel and G-Ball Vision family. Thank you guys. Have a great night. I will catch you on the next one.